for the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Hello God's people, it's a privilege meeting you here again. Praise the Lord. My name is Caesar Okulu. I work with Scripture Union Uganda, basing in northern Uganda. It's a privilege, as I said before, to encounter you once again. Today we are going to discuss something very sweet and very important. We have been looking around for tools of evangelism, and God has commanded us to go out into the world and preach the good news and make disciples. Today we are coming with a disciples, with an evangelism tool. It is called Cross Talk. Before we dive into it, we are going to play a game. In case you have a, a paper like this, and you're wondering where to get it, just go to a nearby scripture union you know, office next to you. You'll find what is called a Cross Talk. Now, what do you do with a Cross Talk? Let's play this game together in case you have one already with you. Uh, and you're passionate about evangelism. What we are seeing here are colors, and they are different colors. We are going to fold and form something sweet. Uh, the first one we're going to see from this cross, what do you see here? This is a cross. And out of this cross, we're going to fold it. Uh, we're going to fold the first one is green, down, to green, aha. Uh -huh. After folding green on green, we have another color. And that color is obviously red. So we are folding red on red. When you're done with that, the next color that you get is a, a sky blue. Then this side also is sky blue. Now you're folding sky blue on sky blue. Let's go there. The color that remains here is a, uh, we call it army green. If you love, you can also call it dirty green. <laughs> so we are folding this army green or whatever dirty green. Uh, you can name it. You fold it on that. Perfect. Now, what remains is a children's color. Obviously, pink with some light love here. So we're going to fall pink on pink. What are you seeing? Cross talk. And this is what we're going to talk about just right now. How do you use a cross talk? And what is the importance of the cross? The Bible tells us that to those who are perishing, the message of the cross is actually foolishness. But for us who are alive, it is power unto salvation. So the cross talk, this is how we use it, and we're going to discuss as we go by. One, we open. The first one that you see there is, God loves you. And he loves you so much. And the Bible tells us uh, below here that God loves you, and he created you to be with him forever. We see in the scripture, John 3, 16. Let us read the scripture together. John chapter number 3, verse 16. John 3, 16. John 3, 16 says, For God so loved the world, that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. This is God loves for you. He doesn't want you to perish, neither does he want me to perish. He wants me and you to be with him forever. But there is a problem, and a big problem. What is that problem? Let's open and see. Our problem is this guy on black. Are, are you seeing? Black. It is sin. Sin is dirty. It is filthy. 
it torments you personally as a passion. So because of this sin, the Bible says God is perfect and we are not. Romans 3, 22. The Bible says that all have sinned and have fallen short of glory of God. But in spite of the fact that uh, we have a problem which is sin, there's something which is constant and it is remaining up. What is that? God's love. God's love for you and me is always up. Because of that sin, we deserve to be punished. And our punishment is a internal separation from God because of the sin that uh, our ancestors did before and even the sin we're doing now we deserve to be punished forever but because God loves us uh, the Bible tells us in Romans uh, 6 23 we are going to read that again together from the Bible Romans chapter number 6 verse uh, 23 Romans 6 23 tells us this For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus. So, Though we have a punishment, God has given us a gift which is eternal life. And he has provided an answer for us, you and me. We have something to, to, to put into our hearts. And what is God's answer? See, when you open this part with up, love, remaining constant, the color changes. It's now red. Red, in most cases, represents blood. And in this context, in the cross, yes, red is representing blood. The blood of Jesus Christ that was shed at the cross of Calvary. So God created a way for you and me that we may be saved. And the Bible call, tells us uh, Romans chapter number 5 verse 8. As you can see it here on the cross talk. Because we have the Bible right here, we are going to also read from the Bible. So that we understand this message very well. Romans chapter number 5 verse 8 tells us this. But God demonstrated his love. But God demonstrated his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. While you were still a sinner, Christ died for you and me. So this is powerful. And it's something that we need to take it serious. We need to remember that Jesus Christ spent only three days in that grave. After three days, he came out alive. And we have life because he rose. If he had not risen, we not have the reason to celebrate Jesus. But because he conquered death, that you and me may have life. We need to celebrate. This is God's answer for you and me. What are we supposed to do with this exciting news? <laughs> there is a path for you. And it changes the color. Now from the blood, we are going to green, which in most cases represent peace. But this peace you choose. That's where we're saying your choice. What is your choice? <laughs> it's a cross. Jesus Christ. You need to choose Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. It's like in every relationship, there's acceptance, there's, a, there's love in it. Now, but you are not forced to it. You choose to be in a relationship or to leave it. As we said, there is God's answer for you in the red part, which is the cross of Jesus Christ. Now the story changes. There is a part that you're supposed to play in this cross. And what is it? Your choice. God has provided a, a solution for you and me to be saved, but you have to choose this wonderful gift of salvation. Just like every relationship, you choose to be in it, you choose to go out. But Jesus Christ chose to die for you and he chose to rise again that you may have life. Now what are you going to do with that? You have a privilege right now to choose him as your Lord and Savior or to share with others the same message you have just had today.
to share with others about Jesus Christ. When you choose him into your life, you will be saved. You can say a simple prayer with me. Like in the cross, when you have accepted him, if you have chosen that he should be your Lord and Savior, you can say this prayer with me. Say, dear God, I have broken your rules. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for calling me your own. I'm blessed to be called your child. I reject Satan and all its work. I declare that I am born again, born of the Spirit. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. And let me pray for you. Father, thank you for your child who have just received you right now. We pray for a shield of the Holy Spirit that you have promised to everyone who confessed you as Lord and Savior. Guide them in the path of life and help them to extend the message of the cross to the hands of the world. And this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Meet again. God bless you. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord.